Hi, beautiful. You look so beautiful today. Like, look at you. Stunning. Relaxers are one of those things that can go very, very, very wrong if you do not follow the directions and know what you're doing. Even a lot of professionals do not know how to do relaxers properly. So, with that said, we're gonna watch some people do some DIY relaxers. And uh, we've seen over the years some pretty crazy things happen with relaxer videos. Uh, so, let's buckle up, strap. In. Let's go for a ride, shall we? Up first, we have a video by Tia Baby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, again, Tia, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Hold on a damn minute, Tia. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Tia. Is this the after of the relaxer, or is this how we're starting the relaxer? Because I swear, I swear to God, y'all should know by now that we do not do relaxers on bleached hair. It's not safe. I'm going to relax my hair. If y'all notice, I'm trying to get this white color. But I'm gonna get yes so yes or white, but yes, I'm gonna get it. And I wanted to bleach my hair, but if never bleach it, but I need to unrelax it. Tia, your hair looks great. Leave it alone. You could probably do a little toner moment on it just to brighten it up, make it look more cool and silver toned, but don't relax it. Come here, Tia. Don't relax it. This is a lot of cream. A lot of relax around me. I'm so scared for her. But take them a small candy burn on this thing, dear. Um, All right, well, at least we're protecting our skin, you know? We're doing something good for ourselves. <laughs> uh, we're putting a little Vaseline on the, on the hairline just because, just in case the rest of our hair doesn't fall off, at least we have our skin is still intact. I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. Also, when you're using relaxer, you need to work very fast. It immediately starts working when you apply it. So the fact that she put it on one little spot of her head and then put the Vaseline on, don't do that. Put the Vaseline on the hairline first and then begin and do it all very very quickly because you do not want relaxers sitting on one part of the hair longer than another. That is just not good and it's not safe. You might get one side that's over processed from leaving it on too long and it might snap off and the other hair might be healthy or under processed if you do not apply everything evenly and quickly. So don't do it like this. Oh no. No! If you're wondering why you don't put relaxer on lightened hair, it's because it is such a strong chemical. You're literally changing the structure of your hair. It breaks bonds. It's a very intense process. It's a lot for hair to go through, even when it's virgin hair. Never mind bleached. And when it's bleached, it's already compromised. It's dry. It's brittle. It's already in a bad place. And you put relaxer over it. <laughs> Recipe for disaster. Oh my god, and she's applying with her hands. No, put some gloves on. Use a brush. Ah, I don't want her to burn her skin off. Oh my god, I thought she was just eating the relaxer off of her fingers. Wait, was she? I mean, she was taking her ring off, but I'm pretty sure there's relaxer all over her hands. Do me a favor, guys. Don't put relaxer in your mouth. It might not kill you, but you're gonna have to call poison control and it's not gonna be a fun situation. Moving it all around like this, it's going to f up your scalp. So don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my God, I feel so bad for her. Ooh, nothing's happened yet, but I already feel bad. We're still applying more. Girl, you should have been done with that 10 minutes ago. You could apply that entire head in about five minutes and that is all you need to do. Boom, done, let it process, put that timer on, make sure it all processes for the same amount of time and do your next steps. If you fuck with relaxer, relaxer will fuck with you back. I promise. <laughs> Girl, that is enough. Stop putting more on. This is not cake frosting. This is not bleach. That is enough. She literally has a helmet of relaxer on her head. Oh my God, stop. Combing relaxer through your hair is a big no-no. You will cause so much breakage. It is so easily stretchable. Like, don't. While it's being relaxed, hair is very prone to breakage and you do not want to comb it, especially with a fine tooth comb like this. Girl, stop. You're freaking me out. <gasps> Oh, no. <gasps> no. 
Oh my god, I feel so bad. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised, but this is bad. <laughs> That is really, really not good. It is literally all coming out. Oh my God, I wish I could help her. You can tell her hair really meant a lot to her and this is really not fun. Like she is really losing all of it. That is heartbreaking to watch, to be honest with you. If you're not expecting that to happen, <laughs> it's bad. Like, damn. Oh my God. It's okay though. First of all, your hair is short. It'll only take a couple months for it to go back out. It'll go back very quickly and there's always wigs. And you look great with a shaved head. Let's shave it. I'm bald. <laughs> I am crying. I'm for me. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you're so fucking Stunning. It doesn't matter if you have even a single piece of hair on your head. You look beautiful no matter what. I'm not even playing with you. Like, you look really good with a bald head. I wouldn't play like that. Damn, though. You really went through it. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That hurt my heart. Like, that was a lot for me to watch. Next time, please just don't do that. None of it. Don't even relax your own hair. <sighs> Relaxer is one of those things that, like, just, I don't think you should do it to yourself. Unless you really, really study up on it and understand what can happen if it goes wrong. And I don't know. It's just a lot. Up next, we have a video by Jiggy Baby. There are a lot of times I make a lot of impulsive decisions regarding my hair. First time I dyed it. You know, you only live once. It was kind of successful. Then I dyed it again. It was my best era, white hair. And then again. And then again. Then I had to cut it. I couldn't just stay on low cut with black hair. So I decided to dye it. I didn't it. get the color I wanted. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to dye it after this color again. Well, that wasn't so successful. Okay, not to be rude, but is this hair the before? I imagine it is, but we're about to relax bleached hair again, aren't we? If I haven't had enough today, if I haven't had enough, can I get out of here, please? Can I get out of here, please? Let me out of this box. I want out. I want out. YouTube, let me out. This, this video is trying to kill me. Let me out. This is the relaxer I'm using. The cup, the spoon. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. I'm doing it for you. This is the first time I'm relaxing my hair. I've never done it before. It's her first time and it's gonna be her last, hopefully, because this is not how you do it right. Did you read the directions once? Look up one video? Yes, my hair is falling off like crazy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fine. I'm done. I'm done, you guys. I'm not coming back. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Hold on. Oh my god. No, I'm done. No, I'm done again. I'm done. Okay, I gotta finish the video. I gotta finish the video. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to do it. This is a lesson to me to stop touching my hair. I've lost my hair. Like, I'm going bald. Stop touching your hair. Your hair is crying out for help at this point. Somebody literally told me I would have lost my hair today. I will not believe. Oh God. I do a lot of stupid things, but like, this one don't shock me for real. Oh my God. I want to give all of you guys today a hug. Uh Oh my god, she looks so beautiful with a shaved head, but that relaxer brought her hair down to her scalp. Like, it fully took the hair bulb right out of the scalp and disintegrated it. Like, she has actual bald spots. That must be so painful to go through that. Like, that must actually kill. Oh my god. God! Good. I have to start taking care of my hair. See here. It's okay, now. There's no need to do anything again. There is. I'm coming. I'll show you what I need you to do. No, this. No calf, but all these fronts are you reading. My, you use all those your hair. This is that. Do it. But no. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, come. And that's where it ends. Oh. Boy, oh boy. Don't ever do that again. Up next, we have a video by She's So Pretty 22. 
All right, we're starting off with some really beautiful hair. She has nice, beautiful curls and she's gonna relax it. And you know what? Everybody can do whatever they want with their curly hair, by the way. So save your hate comments for another time. I know that some people out there are watching this video are gonna be like, why did she do that to her hair? Why did she relax it? I am a firm believer that every curly haired person out there can do whatever they want. Let's stop telling curly haired people that they need to keep their curls. If they don't want them, they don't need them. And if they do want them, they can keep them. All hair is beautiful. All right, so she looks like she has virgin hair, which obviously is a much better starting place than the last girl. I'm really happy about this. So we're starting off on a good note. Where is she gonna go wrong? Because the title says, gone really, really bad. Cry must watch. Oh, I'm so sorry about the audio in this video. Something is off with her audio. It's a little wild. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on a damn minute. I am no relaxer expert by any means. I've probably done maximum five relaxers in my life. Like I don't, I don't do relaxers. I don't, I don't mess with them, so. But from my understanding, you don't apply it like that. You know, you can't just put it over the whole thing. You have to start with the mids and then work on the ends and then apply to the root last for a virgin relaxer application from what I understand. So what's gonna happen here is she's gonna get probably a lot of damage on her roots because of the heat from her scalp is going to process the relax her faster and then the mids and ends might be fine but i am worried about applying it like this that is for sure Guys, we need to section. Section the hair into four quadrants, all right? The four quadrants, we gotta get to know them. They are our best friend. Every good cut, color, relaxer, perm starts with a four quadrant. It's a great tool to know. I would definitely recommend starting at the nape of the neck because that is where the hair is the healthiest and it's the thickest. So the hair can take a lot of that force, all right? It's gonna be on the longest back there and then work your way to the front. But the front needs to happen last. We can't be doing the front first, ever. It is the most fragile hair. Okay, we put the relaxer on the eyebrows. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's one thing bleaching your eyebrows. It's another thing relaxing them. I just wouldn't do that. It's just so not safe. Bleaching your eyebrows is also very not safe. So I would rather you not. Oh my God. Also just that they were almost done with the application and I don't even think she got the center of her head. Like I think it was just the outer parts of everything. Don't apply a relaxer like this, please. We want the hair to be going in the direction we want it to lay after the relaxer is done as well. Don't put it up in a ponytail unless you want to permanently have a ponytail. <laughs> Oh, here come the chills back. Oh, I always get chills when I feel extra bad for people. Oh my God. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of breakage. Like, no, it's all falling off. No, 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 no. This poor girl, this poor girl. Yeah, I lose all my hair, everything. I think she's putting conditioner in her hair right now or shampoo, I'm not sure, but either one, it's not gonna save your hair. It's already gone. And don't pull on your hair. Whatever you do, don't pull on your hair if it's in this state, don't. Let it dry first and then assess the situation. If your hair is this messed up, don't rub it with a towel either. Like you have to be so, so gentle, like a fine piece of antique china. That's how I want you to treat your hair if it's in this state. It's worse than I thought it was. Oh, wow, this is like painful to watch. Oof.
something come out of my head. This is my head. This is my head. And plus more in the sink. Plus more. I don't have no more hair. Like, I can't believe this. Okay. Well, that is where the video ends. Oh my god. I feel like I, that was a roller. I, um, I feel mentally drained from that video. I feel horrible for her. Again, beautiful girl, just shave it off. You're gonna look amazing and your hair's gonna grow out nice and healthy the next time and we're not gonna ever do that again, right? We're never gonna do that again, right? Okay, good. I'm glad we're, we're connected on that one, but... Oh my God, that was so tragic. I'm not well. <sighs> My heart goes out to all of you. In all seriousness, that really sucks a lot. And I hope you're all doing okay, doing well after all of that. I know how it feels to lose your hair and, and when you're not expecting to, and it's not fun at all. So I'm so sorry that happened to you. Don't do it again. And um, that's it really. If you guys wanna check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.